League Baseball on the show for you now as we present coverage from the AAA East. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Indianapolis Indians. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Wilson Brooks will be on the mound for the series opener. What do we need to know here, Danny? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen involved, but you may have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep hey, in the no. games. Very rarely does he go six innings or more. So this... Now with the plate is Eddie James. Hey, first fly. chance for him here in the top of the first Eddie. with nobody on. Shame. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent no, no, out toward no, no, the gap. No, no. You got it. Round it. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. It's always nice to get something cooking in the first inning, even with two outs. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance to drive in the first run of the game. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Will Craig. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Runner breaks for third. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry. And now in the box, Eddie James. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate some. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Griffin rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. The tag, and he's nabbed, trying for two. Striding in is Eddie James. He doubled earlier and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. Now a ball slapped hard the opposite way. Walner is there to put it away for route number one. Stepping in once again is Peter Maeda. Number one. The wind up and the 0 1. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. Nothing across here this half of the inning. And now, Philip Evans. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Phillip. Hit out towards second. And there's out number two. So now into the box is Eddie James as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Been a struggle for him hitting from this side. And as a switch hitter, you really hope for some more consistency from both sides of the plate. But that just hasn't been the case for him batting lefty against these good right Run ball, you got it. Round and this will get all the way to the wall now. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one-out double. That was a great job of driving that ball extending his arms very well was able to get it over the right fielder's head one hopping it off the wall for an easy double that's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat and now here is Will Craig he's got a hit in three at bats to this point three oh pitch and that's wall ball, ball four these guys on defense are still within striking distance, but after that walk, one swing of the bat could really blow this thing wide open. Stepping up is Jose Godoy. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, the defense is thinking, give it to us again and we'll roll it over all day long. Don't think that's not in his head right now as he steps to the plate. A swing and he pops him up on the infield and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Wow, talk about frustrating. Not what you want to do with the bases loaded. A simple pop up and nothing productive comes out of that. So now to the plate, Hunter Cole, and he's got an opportunity to turn this narrow lead into a wide one if he can cash in here. Here we go right here, no one better, no one better. Oh and two, here it is. 
swing and a little on, blooper you're through, you're to center. Through. Keep going. Bruhan is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tight rope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. A couple of walks, but no damage. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. So the batting order turns over now, now and set to go. Robbie Roseboro flew out last time up. Roseborough. Bases are empty, one man out. He'll try to bunt his way on as he gets this one down. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now at the plate, here is Stefan Alamed. One for two on his line so far in the game. Runs up and gets this one down. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in, the switch hitter, Eddie James. Three hits, including a pair of doubles for him thus far. First offering. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Got to sit middle middle when a guy's trying to pitch around you. If he's going to give you first base, take it. Hey, keep it going. You're right here now. Trying to bunt his way on, but this is popped up. Throw gets him. Two down. Well, you know, he had a good idea right there. The infield was playing back, but it's not going to work out for him this time. That's a nice play to react, and they take care of it. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Robbie Roseboro. Game on the line here, and a ball deep in the gap would make this place explode. He's got it. The second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Austin Bryce claims the win out of the pen, his first. So that'll just about do it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshow.com. Our final line score, first for the victorious Iowa Cubs. Three runs on 13 hits, no errors. They left 17 men on base. There is rain in the area, but we've been given the go-ahead to get this one started. Tonight, we wrap up this three-game series between the Iowa Cubs and the Indianapolis Indians. It's baseball, it's the show, and, now, and it comes your, your way next. Indianapolis, Indian. Braxton Ashcraft gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, you always like to begin the season on a good note. In his first start of the year, he did just that picking up the win there's nothing he'd like to do more than to get number two in this one here into the box Stefan Alamance he'll lead things That's off here in call. the bottom half of the first and that change up makes him Hold jump a swing count. and a miss fellows are visiting team as they take the field after a scoreless top half they'll look nope. to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins yeah, Matty B, they've come out guns a-blazing so far in this series. Won the first two games of this series in blowout fashion. Nothing they'd like more than to win game three of this series and continue their hot winning ways. Yeah, Dan, there's been a fight at the bat rack. They have really come alive on the offensive side and look to continue that today. Here's another one, too. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Just flat out froze him there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Now the first pitch. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not okay, showing any count. signs of relief. You know, one of the big issues is player safety. And right now, this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt. And I don't know how much more rain this field can take. 
And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. The batter will be Vidal Brujan. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And this will be lined into center field, and they've got themselves their first hit of the ball game. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring oh, position. Cool. Matt Walner oh, is in with two right. away as he takes a ball, 1-0. Oh. Oh, that's, that's wide, 2-0. Oh. He's gone back-to-back -back with off-speed stuff to start this A-B, and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge him. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Full okay. count now. Three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in. Looking at a fastball to end the inning. And inning in the books tonight, still scoreless here on the show. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And Here next, it'll be the outfielder, Travis Swaggerty. A ball and no strikes. Count one and over. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Scooped up. Throw just in time. And, oh, that was awfully close. So here is Philip Evans. He comes into this good. one having sputtered out of the gate this season. The average is under the 200 mark at this point. This is foul right side. Bottom of the second here with no score. That's one and ball. one. He obviously one wanted one. that call in the corner, but if he continues to put the ball right there, he's going to get that call, and he's going to keep pitching as well as he is. One ball and two strikes to count. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Let's take a look at the sequence here again. The first three pitches, all three down in the zone. So now you've got a guy that's thinking something down around the knees. He's conditioned to kind of look down there. That's when you mix it up and put it by him at the letters. Peter Maeda swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Down 0-2 to a guy with this much weaponry. Five pitches he can go. Threw it right past him. A swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. So to go quietly here in this half inning, we'll go now to the top of the third. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Eddie James. First delivery to him. Swing and a hard liner to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. Anthony Siegler is in to start things out as he swings and misses at that one at strike one. Fouled off. The offense better get it going right here, because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. And a swing and a miss as he picks up yet another strikeout. Six of them already. And there's one gone in the inning. And gone. now the first pitch. The pitcher. Braxton, Braxton Ashcraft hey. comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Oh, and he's really getting the no better of him two now. Strike. strike two. Here's the 0-2. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing, our score. And it's fouled away. Uh, the big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Boy, this guy has really good stuff so far on this one. How about seven Ks, and we're just in the middle yeah, innings of this one. If he continues this up, this could be a real solid performance. Oh, Stefan Alamix is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Swing, and a miss as he pulls the top hand over. It's 0-2. Fouled away. Bases are empty here with two men out. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Bell corrals it, 
And the throw to first ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. So stepping in is Chris Sharp. We go for one for him here in this one. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Swing and a miss. It's 0-2. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? I think this continues for a while, Matt. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, having good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be no one of those low-scoring affairs. Second baseman. Vidal Bruhan will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. Hot one shot to third. Fielded cleanly in time to first, and there are two away. So here's the cleanup hitter, Matt Walner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Gets ahead of him here as he got a swing over the top of this one. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Nothing doing here this half. On to the top of inning number five we go, and we are tied nothing nothing. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and digging in is the outfielder, Travis Swaggerty. And ball one and oh. Swaggerty. Ball one, no strike. That evens it up one and one. And the pitch. Fooled with the curveball the there, and, and it's strike two. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. The third baseman, number 24. Phillip Aye. Evans Phillip. is at the plate here as he quickly Evans. finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Hits this one hard the other way. He's got it. On to first, and there were two down. Now to the plate. Here is Peter Maeda. Struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, kind of shocked. He got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. Both teams back. So here now is the pitcher, Eddie James. The pitcher. First pitch of the A.B. now. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and all. Swing and a liner. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So only the second hit he's given up tonight. Yeah, man, he's locked in and pretty dominant since the first, so... As long as he can get back in that groove now with the next batter, he's not going to worry too much about it. Into the bag and a dive, but he's back. James, base runner at first with one out. And again, a little dive, but he's back. Ready? Now the payoff pitch. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. One there. And nearly a double play. That was closer than I thought it would be, and the inning will continue. At the plate now is Anthony Siegler. He'll lead it off as we start the home sixth. Heading out towards shallow right. Cole is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Braxton Ashcraft. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. First pitch, fastball in there for a called strike. The difference between 0-1 and 1-0 is so monumental, and this guy has been on top of his game all day, attacking the zone and getting ahead of these hitters. And he struck him out. And there's strikeout number 11 in the ballgame. Ready now is Stefan Alamez, who got down on strikes in his last at-bat. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. 
shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Can't quite get around in time to keep it fair, and it remains 0-2. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Here comes the one two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. We're through six full, and we still have no score. Now to bat for sure. He comes in over two thus far. No left fielder. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Swing and a miss at a changeup that has him all kinds of goofed up at the plate. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. So the next to bat will be Vidal Ruhan. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Scooped up. Throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. So next to hit is Matt Walner. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Strike one to start the at bat. The 0 and 1 delivery. Swinging the strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw to third. And he is in there at third is the possible go ahead score. This is their time right here. This starting pitcher has been on point all day. Runs have been at nope. a premium. They have an opportunity to do something special right here. Travis Haggerty is in for the third time as he looks at a ball high. It's 1 0. Runners are at first and third, one right away. At strike two on a well placed changeup around the knees. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Cole has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And they will not risk it. So with two away now, that go-ahead run is forced to hold tight at third base. First pitch on its way. Phillip Evans stands in as he looks at ball one here. Below the zone, a swing and a miss. Hey, plays out one right here. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. And he fouls this one off. And he's going to add to the total. 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. Austin wins. Will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. For Iowa. Number 61. Austin wins. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Iowa came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Enrique Tejeda claims the win out of the pen his first. Austin Bryce records the save his first of the year. Our so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian.